Okay, so now that we've finished the story preview, we're going to move on to Act 1. And you'll see up top there are references to what act you're on. So this gives you kind of a status marker of where you are in the lesson and what pages that you're going to be covering. Um, this is a major component, and you'll notice that some of these sections actually have stars next to them. And these all basically tell you that they're major components, and so they should be covered in more detail. Uh, we're starting to map out, I guess, where the characters are, what the plot is, um, how some of these characters actually play into the plot. And so this is essentially the basis of uh, what we're using to establish context. And once we've established context and we know that the students actually comprehend who the characters are and what's happening in the story, uh, this enables us to move into more critical thinking questions and to analyze the subtext of what's actually happening in the story. So uh, we start with this first section here. And what you'll notice about this is um, there is the character and then we also see the word nonconformity. And nonconformity is also highlighted in green. Now we know that this is talking about Stargirl, and so you want to ask questions to the students to make sure that they understand what nonconformity is, and also uh, prediction questions. How does Stargirl, or how is Stargirl a nonconformist within this story? So after we've established that, we move on to the next section, which is context one. So for this, we're establishing basically what the context is. So what is the setting that the story is actually taking place? Where are we introduced to these different characters? Um, down in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see there are three different characters. Um, and so these three are characters are basically going to be the main characters that we're first introduced to in this scene. Now, students probably don't have a good idea about the differences between a Korean cafeteria versus a cafeteria in say like the United States or the cafeteria that they're actually describing in this book. And so literally we're just taking a look at where uh, or what the cafeteria in the United States or in this particular book may be referring to. Uh, as you can see, like there's the uh, food line, um, everyone has their tables here. And you'll notice that the, there are these little target signs or bubbles. And if you tap on these bubbles, uh, you will see some common phrases or expressions that actually come up um, that will help to establish what the context is. So you want to basically use this as a launchpad for discussion. You want to get the kids talking about who's in the story, who are the three different characters in the story, uh, what the setting is, and uh, you can talk even about a little bit about what's actually happening in the story. So this first one is slung the instrument strap over her chair. So many students may not know what slung means. Some of them may have instruments and instrument cases, so they may be familiar with that. But uh, you may even want to just act out exactly like what it is to sling an instrument strap over the chair. The other thing, marching among the tables. And so this is, would be literally just to give them a visualization of what may be happening actually in the story. Down below, uh, you see there are references to a couple of pages in the textbook. And so you want to have them open up their textbook to page 4. Uh, on page 4, they're mainly going to be scanning for the, uh, the details that go in the blanks. Now, this isn't a guided reading exercise. This is more or less just to highlight certain points that are going to help us understand the overall context. So uh, the students will scan for the details. On page four, the missing details for this one is she wore an off-white dress. And so we, after we answer any of these questions, then we want to just throw it out to the students one more time. So who are they talking about? So in this particular quote or this particular sentence, they're talking about Stargirl. And then the next set of questions, these are all referring to page 5 within their textbook. And so on page 5, you will notice that they do have these icons here. And whatever icon is highlighted in green or in a different color is essentially where the students should be looking on the page. So the point of this is to help the students find the detail quickly so that you can discuss it. Uh, it's not so that they can find the detail and then read the whole paragraph out loud or read the whole page out loud. It's literally just to find the detail so that you can discuss it. 
Uh, again, this whole section is just basically to establish the overall context of what's actually happening. So, uh, for the first one, the girl was picking up her ukulele. Uh, the second one, head swung, eyes followed her, mouth hung open, in disbelief. She wore no makeup. And so literally, once you've answered these questions, we're just trying to establish again the context. And so you want to ask them, so what was different about a student picking up a ukulele? Uh, why were people looking at her in disbelief? Why is it so odd that she wasn't wearing any makeup? There is a stack of media cards here um, that do help you to explain, I guess, what a ukulele is or what some of the vocab is that they're going to discuss. And so uh, you can open up this page. And so once you open up that page, it's going to show a video of this young boy playing a ukulele. And this gives, I guess, the students a little bit more context. And so maybe some of them are familiar with the ukulele, others are probably not. Um, but it at least establishes that, well, this girl's carrying around a ukulele, so she's probably a little bit different than the rest of the students. After you've discussed that, you want to move on to the next question. And the next question is, based on the moment above, why does Kevin want Stargirl to be fake? And so this is essentially just a basic comprehension question uh, covering what they, what they discussed in the actual textbook. So for this one, uh, the students can pick A, B, C, or D. In this case, um, once you've had given the students some time to actually review the different answer choices, um, you can show them the answer, which is B, Kevin wants to expose Stargirl on hot seat. So after you've uh, covered this question, you move down to the last question, and they're literally asking, how does clothing reveal different degrees of social conformity? So you want to explain the differences between conformity and nonconformity. Uh, we've already established that Stargirl is a nonconformist, and so she dresses very differently than the rest of the students. Ask the students to discuss uh, the differences between conformists and nonconformists, and then maybe get some examples from the students. So uh, maybe they've walked down the street and they've seen someone with pink hair versus most of the students at their schools have black hair. Uh, or all of the students wear a certain uniform, but then maybe one student decides to uh, change their uniform and, uh, and wear it a different way. Or maybe they're not even wearing a uniform and they just disobey all the rules. So. Uh, we're trying to establish the, the different, um, I guess, the different degrees of conformity versus nonconformity. Once you've discussed that, you can pop open the media card. Uh, this one is a video, and so you can open this up and then show the students. Uh, this is from the Anchorman movie. Um, and so once you show this to students, I would suggest playing a little bit of it, um, pausing along the way. And literally, you're just trying to establish, I guess, the setting. And you're trying to get students to, uh, to think about like, where this kind of a situation might actually take place. Um, they can, uh, things that you can clue them into would be, I guess, maybe, uh, maybe like the instrument that he's playing. Uh, where would it be proper for him to be playing the instrument? Um, and then I guess the overall setting of what's actually happening. 